Today, I want to talk about something truly remarkable, something that can lift our spirits and renew our faith, the unexpected ways in which God moves in our lives. Life, my dear friends, is full of twists and turns. We often find ourselves navigating through a maze of challenges, uncertainties, and moments of doubt. But in the midst of it all, there's something incredible happening behind the scenes, something orchestrated by a higher power, something we might not always see coming. You see, God works in mysterious ways. His plans are beyond our understanding, and His timing is always perfect. When we least expect it, He shows up in our lives in ways that leave us in awe. He's the master of the unexpected turning our trials into triumphs and our obstacles into opportunities. Maybe you're facing a situation right now that seems insurmountable. Perhaps you're grappling with financial struggles, relationship issues, or health concerns. Whatever it may be, I want you to know this. God is not done with you yet. He's working behind the scenes, setting the stage for some... In the Bible, we see countless examples of God doing the unexpected. He parted the Red Sea for Moses, brought down the walls of Jericho for Joshua, and turned a shepherd boy into a mighty king. And let me tell you, my friends, he hasn't stopped working miracles. Think about your own life for a moment. Reflect on the times when you felt like all hope was lost, only to be lifted up by a force greater than yourself. Those moments weren't just coincidences. They were divine interventions orchestrated by a loving God who cares deeply for you. So what can we do in the face of life's uncertainties? We can hold on to our faith with unwavering determination. We can trust in God's promises, knowing that He is faithful to fulfill them. And most importantly, we can keep our hearts open to the unexpected, embracing each twist and turn as an opportunity for God to reveal His glory. Now, my dear friends, Let's delve deeper into what it means for God to do the unexpected in our lives. Firstly, let's acknowledge that our human understanding is limited. We often try to fit God into our own preconceived notions and expectations, but the reality is that He operates on a level far beyond our comprehension. His ways are higher, His thoughts are deeper, and His plans are more intricate than we can imagine. When we face challenges, we tend to seek solutions within the realm of what we perceive as possible. We look for logical explanations, predictable outcomes, and tangible evidence of progress. But God's ways are not bound by our earthly limitations. He has the power to defy the odds, break through barriers, and surpass our wildest dreams. My friends, consider the account of Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection in the eyes of the world, it seemed like the end of the road. Defeat, despair, and death. But God had a plan that transcended human understanding. He turned the greatest tragedy into the greatest triumph, redeeming humanity through the sacrificial love of His Son. So, what does this mean for us today? It means that no matter what challenges we may face, we can trust in the power and sovereignty of God. Even when the odds are stacked against us, He is working behind the scenes, weaving together a masterpiece of redemption and restoration. But here's the catch. God's unexpected interventions often require us to step out in faith. It may require us to let go of our own plans and expectations, surrendering ourselves completely to His will. It may require us to persevere through seasons of waiting and uncertainty, trusting that God's timing is perfect. Let me assure you that the rewards of trusting in God's unexpected work far outweigh the challenges. When we relinquish control and allow God to take the lead, we open ourselves up to a world of endless possibilities. We experience the joy of seeing His hand at work in ways we could never have imagined. My friends, as we continue to reflect on the unexpected workings of God in our lives, let's delve deeper into how we can align ourselves with His divine plan and purpose. Firstly, 
It's crucial to cultivate a spirit of openness and receptivity to God's leading. This means being attuned to His voice through prayer, meditation, and reflection on His Word. When we quiet our hearts and minds, we create space for God to speak to us and reveal His will in unexpected ways. Secondly, we must be willing to let go of our own agendas and desires, surrendering them to God's higher wisdom and guidance. This requires humility and trust, acknowledging that God's plans are far superior to our own, even when they diverge from what we had envisioned for ourselves. Thirdly, we need to maintain a posture of faith and expectancy, regardless of our circumstances. Even when the road ahead seems uncertain and daunting, we can hold fast to the assurance that God is with us every step of the way. As we anchor our faith in His promises, we can confidently anticipate His supernatural intervention and provision. In addition, we must remain vigilant against the voices of doubt, fear, and negativity that seek to undermine our trust in God's faithfulness. Instead, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who endured the cross for the joy set before Him. Just as He conquered sin and death, so too can He overcome any obstacle or challenge that stands in our way. Finally, let us never underestimate the power of gratitude and praise in cultivating an atmosphere conducive to God's unexpected blessings. When we cultivate a heart of thanksgiving, even in the midst of trials, we position ourselves to receive the fullness of God's goodness and grace. Beloved friends, it's important to recognize that God's unexpected workings often require us to step out of our comfort zones and into the unknown. It's in those moments of uncertainty and vulnerability that our faith is truly tested and strengthened. So, God may be calling each of us to step out in faith, to trust Him in the midst of uncertainty and take bold steps toward the unexpected. It could be pursuing a new career path, starting a ministry, or reaching out to someone in need. Whatever it may be, God promises to be with us every step of the way guiding us, empowering us, and lifting us up when we falter. But stepping out in faith requires courage, the kind of courage that comes from knowing that we serve a God who is faithful and true. It means letting go of our fears and insecurities and placing our trust fully in Him. It means believing that His plans for us are good, even when they lead us down unfamiliar paths. And let me tell you, my friends, the rewards of stepping out in faith are beyond measure. When we dare to trust God with our lives and follow where He leads, we open ourselves up to a world of endless possibilities. We experience His presence in ways we never thought possible, and we witness His power at work in our midst. So, I want to challenge you today, my dear friends. Are you willing to step out in faith and embrace the unexpected? Are you ready to let go of your fears and insecurities and trust God to lead you into His perfect will? If so, then I believe with all my heart that you are about to experience something truly remarkable, something that will exceed your wildest expectations and leave you in awe of God's goodness and grace. Now, my dear friends, Let's take a moment to reflect on the character of God, as revealed in His Word. First and foremost, God is good. He is the source of all goodness. And everything He does is motivated by His love for us. Psalm 34, 8 tells us, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in Him. Even in the midst of trials and tribulations, we can trust that God's goodness will prevail and He will work all things together for our good. Secondly, God is faithful. He is true to His promises and He never wavers in His commitment to His people. 2 Timothy 2 13 assures us, if we are faithless, He remains faithful, for He cannot disown Himself. When God makes a promise, 
we can rest assured that he will fulfill it in his perfect timing and according to his perfect plan. Thirdly, God's love for us knows no bounds. It is unconditional, sacrificial, and unfailing. Romans 8.30, 8, 39 declares, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ, Jesus our Lord. No matter what we may face in life, we can take comfort in the fact that we are held securely in the palm of God's hand. Furthermore, let us not forget that God is sovereign. He is in control of all things, and nothing happens outside of His divine will. Isaiah 46, 9, 10 reminds us, I am God, and there is no other. I am God, and there is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. I say, my purpose will stand, and I will do all that I please. Even when life seems chaotic and unpredictable, we can trust that God is working all things according to His sovereign plan. In light of these truths, let us anchor our faith in the unchanging character of God. Let us trust in His goodness, rely on His faithfulness, and rest in His unfailing love. And as we do, let us eagerly anticipate the unexpected ways in which He will move in our lives, confident that He who began a good work in us will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Beloved friends, let us also consider how we can actively participate in His unexpected workings in our lives. Firstly, let us cultivate a spirit of obedience and surrender. This means aligning our will with God's will and yielding to His leading in every area of our lives. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 encourages us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. When we submit to God's authority and trust His guidance, we position ourselves to experience His unexpected blessings. Secondly, let us be diligent in seeking God through prayer, meditation, and the study of His Word. Psalm 119, 105 reminds us that your Word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. As we immerse ourselves in Scripture and seek God's presence in prayer, we open ourselves up to His divine revelation and guidance. He may speak to us through His Word, through the still small voice of His Spirit, or through the counsel of wise mentors and fellow believers. Thirdly, let us cultivate a heart of gratitude and praise. 1 Thessalonians 5 18 urges us to give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. When we cultivate an attitude of gratitude, even in the midst of life's challenges, we create an atmosphere conducive to God's unexpected blessings. As we praise Him for His faithfulness and goodness, we position ourselves to receive more of His grace and favor. Furthermore, let us be attentive to the needs of others and seek opportunities to be vessels of God's love and compassion. Galatians 6, 9, 10 encourages us. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers when we extend love and kindness to others, we become instruments through which God's unexpected blessings can flow. So take heart, my friends, and take courage. God is on the move, and He's about to do something unexpected in your life. Get ready to witness His power, His love, and His grace in ways you never thought possible. So as we draw near to the end of our time together, I want to encourage you to take these words to heart and let them resonate deeply within you. 
God's unexpected workings in our lives are not confined to the past or limited by our circumstances. They are alive and active, ready to manifest in ways that surpass our understanding and exceed our expectations. So, my dear friends, as you go forth from this moment, I urge you to remain steadfast in your faith, trusting in the goodness, faithfulness, and love of our Heavenly Father. Keep your hearts open to the unexpected, knowing that God is always at work behind the scenes, orchestrating His divine plan for your life. And as you journey onward, I invite you to join us in spreading this message of hope and encouragement to others. Share this sermon with your friends, family, and loved ones. Let them know that they too can experience the transformative power of God's unexpected blessings. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel to stay connected and receive more uplifting content like this. Together, let's continue to inspire and uplift one another as we journey through life's twists and turns, trusting in the God who delights in doing the unexpected. Now, open your hearts to pray with me. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a heart full of gratitude and a spirit of expectancy. I believe that you are a God of miracles and that nothing is impossible for you. I know that you can do far more than I could ever ask or think. And so I ask that you would do something unexpected in my life. Lord, I pray that you would open doors that I never thought possible and provide opportunities that exceed my wildest dreams. I ask that you would lead me to the right people, places, and circumstances that align with your perfect will for my life. I pray that you would grant me the courage to step out in faith and trust that you are with me every step of the way. I ask that you would give me the strength to persevere through any challenges that may come my way and to keep my eyes fixed on you, knowing that you have promised to never leave me or forsake me. Father, I pray that you would fill me with your Holy Spirit and give me discernment to recognize when you are at work in my life. I ask that you would give me a heart of gratitude and a spirit of joy, even in the midst of difficult circumstances. Thank you for your unfailing love and grace. I trust in your plan for my life and ask that you would do something unexpected and amazing that only you could do. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.